What is a CDU ambassador? What are their benefits? And how do those people become one? Also, do the other OEs offer similar programs? Um, the ambassador program was part of their social media purchase by probably around four years ago, three years ago. And it effectively ate the entire budget for the racing program. So there's almost zero race support. And what an ambassador was, was that it, it's it's a little bit of a, um, basically what you're doing as a CDU ambassador is that you have a pretty stiff criteria of social media posts and content creation that's on you. And in exchange, they'll provide you with product, uh, whether that is a new watercraft, whether that's a switch, whether that's a trophy, whether that's a Can-Am Spider, whatever the, whatever the program is. And they'll also hook you up with a bunch of product to wear. Um, and you do have a very specific quota. And normally it's an exchange. Normally it's just kind of horse trading, you know, use of product for, you know, a very vibrant Instagram page or a very vibrant, you know, YouTube channel or whatever you might be. Uh, like, for example, Randy Cabrera. Randy Cabrera and Anthony Raditic are two of the most visual or visible C2 ambassadors. Uh, Randy has his own, I mean, in addition to Florida Ski Riders, he actually has a marketing company. All right. That's what he does. He does that for a living. So it was perfectly hand in glove for him because he was a sea dew enthusiast. He was already jet skiing. He was very active. He and his family were already doing it. And he slid perfectly in with sea dew. And that just has been a really good marriage for them. He generates a lot of content. Um, he's got uh, two skis and a switch. And I, I think it's a pre production switch. Um, but he put out content. He put out content faster than the Watercraft Journal, faster than Green Hulk, faster than anyone else uh, got us. You know, could get content out. Um, he he's cranking it out really, really fast. My understanding is that in some cases there is stipends when there is certain expenses, and they they dole through the contract. Uh, to my understanding, Yamaha does not have anything. Uh, comparative uh, or comparable, excuse me. Uh, Kawasaki has zero, 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 zero support. They have zero racer support. They have zero racing support. They have no ambassador program. Their social media campaign has tumbleweeds blowing through it. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.